is very big. This is very small. Now, slight complication to our video making. Oh, and even might horrendously burn myself. Oh, I can't even show you. I'm so sore. I can't even wear my hat or anything. It's so sore. So, I look a bit like ninja. So the plan today was to get out and see how far we can get, not walking very far. But at the moment, I don't even have to leave my buddy cabin. I absolutely burnt to a crisp. And it's meant to be even stronger today. But we'll, we'll see how we get on. So welcome to day four of the vlog. Here we go. So here's today's breakfast. We're gonna start in the island buffet. There may be a try to change of schedule because my head is about to fall off so we may have to think about how we're going to sort out day number four but we'll have fun, that's the main thing so look at these beautiful views as mentioned before uh, due to some horrendous sunburn we may have to alter what today's video is about I will cover how you get into St Martin and what you can do if you're limited in mobility but let's have a look at some food today instead here we are in the island buffet during breakfast time lots of choices here Cereals, teas, coffees, croissants, cakes, tea, coffee, over here you can have an omelette made, you've got choices of toast, I think there's, what's that stuff called, porridge, over there, and you've got bacon, sausage, I'm right thank you, sausage, and everything over there, and some fresh fruits over there, and here's seating with some beautiful views as well. These reviews are the law of the seas. Two sides of the buffet, only one seems to be open really. But there's plenty of seating. Plus what's actually cool about this place is you can actually take your food and sit just outside and enjoy some of the beautiful... Oh my god, it's so much cool over here. My head is absolutely burning. But there's the law of the seas. So we did the law of the seas back in 20... 2019 actually, it might be 2018 is a wonderful vessel so yeah this is the island buffet we're probably going to look at switching things around today and probably focus more on food but here we are in St Martin and this is the port there you go that's it there we go let's actually do something properly this is the port map so we're docked here you can walk off from some shops and I'll show you those because you'll see those from just the bottom of my uh, balcony if you want now to go to the heart of St. Martin, or the centre of Philipsburg, you can get the water taxi. The water taxi is $7 return, $7 return. So you can walk a little bit around here, lots of different kind of typical cruise ship shops, you know, diamond rings, gold Rolexes, etc. Uh, wines and spirits of local people. And then you get the water taxi and you come to the proper shops here in the centre. And that is $7 dollars return there you go done my port video today and not burnt any oh my god it's so warm oh and not burnt any aspect of my head or body yet but yes there's the allure of the seas what a beauty so let's look at some more food one thing i forgot to mention as we step back into the island buffet this is where you can get yourself poor Strongbow, Foster's, red wine, rosé wine, white wine, white, rosé, red, and that's definitely at evenings, I'm guessing at lunchtime as well, so it's handy, get yourself a seat there, and get yourself a drink on tap, so, what we're saying, more food, oh yes, here we go, so I've had to construct some kind of like, hat protection system, I can't just wear my hat, because it destroys my head, <laughs> so I've had to put like a a face mask underneath it. It looks shit, but it doesn't look better than looking like a fucking traffic light. Excuse me, French. <laughs> Which leads us nicely into... Oh, it's Dutch. Yeah, one's half Dutch and one's French, in it. I don't know. It was quite a good link, that, until it didn't work. So, as I said this morning, here we are. Uh, St. Martin. Uh, here, they've got two ships. The Pino Britannia. Been on that one, that ship. 
This is the bad boy, this is the Allure of the Seas. Excellent. So, as I was saying, unfortunately, due to this dying head condition... Oh, I could put some cream under there, and that might make it feel a bit better. Sorry, working on the hat as we're doing the, the videos. So, limited transportation, limited walkability. If you can walk the length of this pier, there are some shops just there, as you can see there. In these shops, you'll find various overly priced stuff, but you never know. One man's budget's another woman's budget. So, you've got lots of stuff there. It's a nice place to take some pictures of your boat, actually. That'd be interesting if you're interested in uh, nautical stuff. But there is shops to walk around. You can get gins and local spirits. Uh, I don't think they sell cigarettes, but they sell cigars and that kind of stuff. And uh, clothes, expensive clothes, watches, etc. The usual kind of stuff you find in the port. Then to the left, we're going to get the, or well, we're not going to, we should be getting the water transfer over to see that beach there. So it's seven euros, seven dollars even, and it brings you there, and it brings you back, and you'll be back for your sea departure time. But, so it's a lovely port, you have to be careful here though, for some reason, I've been here before, but really burnt. I was watching the planes, but you just have to be careful, because even if you're not watching planes, it can be. Oh, my hat might blow off, I didn't think of all this. Oh, that's a drawing board. So this is the uh, hat idea. I don't know if it's working or not, but it's so sore, honestly, really, if you, when you come here, be so careful because it's like cold winds and you don't feel it, next thing you know, you're like super burnt, so just be cautious. So, part of my surviving the day involves using Red Bull. This is part of the premium drinks package and you can get it from various outlets. So, hopefully this will give me the wings to carry on. So I think I covered this a bit actually, but towards the back of the pool deck you've got the snack shack. Snack shack you can get tea and coffee, help yourself, decaffeinated, flavoured various teas. There's these little hooks you can sit in, similar to the ones on other Morella cruises. I didn't like the fact they were at the back, whereas like on the Explorer they're like there, so you can still play at pool activities. But in reflection, this is nice because you're away from everybody, so it's kind of like, good. What we're saying about the Morella Explorer was everything very similar, where this you kind of pulled out of just eating where you are, to see seating, eating in a separate environment. So you've got the huts, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's some bench seating as well. All the staff are really, really, really helpful. And you can get choices of from the bakery. This is the breakfast menu, so you can get this up until, um, I don't know what time you had to. It starts at seven, I know that much. And then the snacks kick in, presume they're getting ready for the snacks. I'd probably guess at 11 maybe. So that's the snacks from there. Ah, so that's the snack shack. Maybe the snack shack isn't your particular cup of tea. Then you could come to the glass house, which is positioned at the back. So this is similar to what's on the Explorer, but this one has a pool, which is nicer. It'd be nice if this say was a, a stage there, and a, like a man with a guitar played. That'd be really nice. So there's some hot tubs in here, and you can sunbathe. Ah, this may have just saved my bacon. Because I bet I can come sunbathe in here, and I don't seem to feel this is bad. Ooh, maybe my holiday isn't ruined. So, back here, you have your choices of food. This starts at lunchtime. Uh, there's some kind of roast chicken. I'll see if I can show you the menu. Roast chicken's really nice. You can get drinks as well. Then this changes into a different eatery tonight, which I'll try and show you. We tried to get in last night, but couldn't get in. But yeah, so we've got rotisserie style chicken. A selection of sides. I haven't tried the coleslaw, I might try it today actually. Salad, paninis, pizza, pasta, pasta sauces, various condiments. That blue cheese ranch is really, really nice. And they have desserts as well. And that's at the glass house and that's at the back. What's really nice about here is the beds. So you're not in the sun, there is pros and cons to that, as I've clearly demonstrated. But look at these beds. And these aren't like, you haven't got to have a suite or anything to have one of these. Just come along and if there's one available, 
set yourself in. You can literally chill and relax all day here. And I think this is, this is nice. This is actually really nice. It's funny, I wasn't thinking it was so nice of a day, and because I, I burnt myself so much, all I'm thinking is, wow, is it bad, mother? <laughs> I might come out of my room and live in this instead. It's miles better. So this is the glass house at the back, where you can also get food from, or some really nice chilling. This is really nice. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna bed down here this afternoon, definitely. Because my head is about to explode. It's so warm outside, so don't forget, when you come here, you're going to need plenty of suntan lotion. I never burn. I never ever burn. Until today. Or yesterday. When it was like, holy smoly, this is hot. But yeah, so that's the glass house at the back. Highly recommended. Right, I think we're going to attempt to get off. We won't be able to go crazy far today. But we'll look at what is in that port down there. We've been before, but I'll give you a quick rundown. I say, if you've got limited mobility, you can still get off and have a look around, lovely. And we'll try and show you where all the bits are off so I do want to stretch further afield. I just got so burnt yesterday, it's got to be really, really careful. So I've got, although I look like trash, and I can't put it in the table, I didn't want to show myself. The first two days of the video, I've got a stupid bit, but now I've got like a stupid hat, a cover. Burns and back on video. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's try and get off and have a moochie round. So we've made it off. Despite poorly legs and bad heads. Bad heads in several ways. Here we are. Let's have a look at some boats. The Britannia, as stated before, we've been on this lovely vessel on a staycation. And it's funny because you look at like the Explorer. Which I suppose in nowadays it's not a little ship, but this is like more of a medium one. Hundred and I'll be corrected here. It's not 170,000 tonnes. What's this? 140? Oh, the viewers will be slated for now. 140,000 tonnes. That's 140. It's got to be less than that. What's the uh, independence? It's more than independence. If you know the tonnage, write it in the comments below. You know the queueage? Jesus Christ, got a queue. See, there is a perk to small vessels. No queue, big queue. So. Now as we come around here, it's very windy, let's make sure the cap doesn't go off. This one's a bit dubious in that. So here is the Allure. I really like it, it's good. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm not a big fan of Royal Caribbean, but, but you can still hear me, it's like really, really windy by the way. But yeah, so, oh! Save the camp. I'm going to come off. I'm going to walk to the end. And I'll show you what shops are available. There's not many. But if you get a chance, even with dicky legs, get yourself off. Have a bit of butchers. I'm going to buy some suntan lotion. And hopefully I don't have to wear my hat all the time. So I do feel a lot more protected wearing my hat. It's just a bit inconvenient. So let's back around look at the shops. See if we can find the skull and some suntan lotion. So following around from there, more shops. So people argue you're not really helping the local country by shopping at these shops, but uh, you are. It's not the best funding for local country, but. It's not exactly like you're still spending it on the exact cruise ships. There's a sale, five pound t-shirts. So hopefully we'll find some suntan lotion and my skull. And then we can start actually enjoying holiday again. <laughs> but it's nice to get off and have a look around. And these little shops are locals. And they've got some really cool stuff. So get in, have a look and see what you like. Hope to see you again, St Martin. Yes, this is one of the better ports if you've got limited mobility because there's quite a lot to look around. You may not want to buy anything, but at least you can have a look around and see if there's anything you fancy. And the people aren't very harassing, well not harassing at all. And a lot of the stuff is all written up in prices as well, as opposed to the old game of cat and mouse when you're trying to haggle and it's just an absolute nightmare. 
Let's have a look at this guy. Remember not to touch the, the bomb. Sin Martin. Peter Stuvenster was the last governor of the Dutch colony of the New Netherland, now New York, from 1646. There you go. He surrendered to the English in 1664. Look at this. Travel tips, history, smoking tips. <laughs> you learn it all here on my channel. This weather is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. And the scenery as well. What a beautiful place to come and visit. So like I say, if you, even if you've got limited mobility and you can't go crazy far, get off. If you can, get off and walk around here. I think you really enjoy it. It's nice, friendly, and it's cool. So that concludes our little walk around the shops just off the disposals. Like I say, if you get a chance to get off, it's not the hardest walk. That's been okay. Now we're heading back to the vessel. Is that a vessel? Oh shit, this is a vessel. This is the MV. I don't know what that is. But I'll tell you what, I'm ready for some food from the snack shack. Oh, we some chicken from the glass house. Ooh, that'd be big. I don't know. Look at these options. Look at these options on the Royal Discovery. Definitely what I want is a beer. A lovely cold beer. I've got suntan lotion. So we're all set for tomorrow as well. Happy days. We're still to come today on day four. Is this day four? We've got a sail, a sail, set sail party. Was that tonight? I don't know. There's so much going on. Just awesome. But time for food, definitely. Here we are in the glass house. The chicken here is fantastic. We never tried the course, though, did we? So we try that. Look at this wonderful food. There's a bar, get us have a drink. We just enjoy the sunshine. We're fantastic. So we've gone for a pina colada and I've gone for the chicken with their famous coleslaw and the blue ranch sauce. And I'll show you some details whilst I'm here. If you fancy a tea and coffee or water, just come to the opposite side. And we've got water and tea and coffee. But no juices, so just water and tea and coffee. That's just over this side, help yourself. And that's available all day, so say like you sat in the, uh, the outside and you just fancy a brew. Walk on through, grab a cup, help yourself, there you go. Well, it's been a bit of a quiet day so far, for the adventures in port. But here we are now, now we're going to listen to the pan, and we're going to get some drinks, and then we've got the Britannia set sailing, and the Allure set sailing. I think we're going first though, so stay tuned. How about these things? All included in the press. No extras. Big last room. Sit back and relax. Is it really nice? Because those are really cool, aren't they? So here we are, back in our cabin. But you're thinking to yourself, I'll tell you what, I quite fancy something to eat. Where am I get something to eat from? From the glass house. So, how do we get there? This is stolen from another YouTuber. I will leave the comments of his name, etc. But the little cheat and how to get from here, the back, to the glass house in just one minute. So set your timer. Make sure you got your cruise card. Bing. 
anyway we go so out the door so we're 8086 this is right middle back so you take a right so we're coming to the left hand side of the ship which is called I don't know, port maybe and you come along here so then you come to a door at deck 8 it's an up and sneak up these stairs and these stairs take you to the spa Yoink. and you come through the spa like so and they don't mind it's cool and here we are in the glass house voila under a minute so here we are now in the glass house we tried to get in there last night we couldn't get last night so continuing the food theme of today we'll be trying out the food here but overall it's been a good day so far and we've still got the party coming tonight so that should be fun but let's get some food first and see how we get on beautiful view this evening so I'm going for uh, mushrooms chicken and prawns and we've got the bread then we'll get a combination sharing board and that should be enough so the food's arrived these are the tapas which decided to choose the stuff and that's the sharing board cheese and meat and these are the tapas I decided it looks really good doesn't it yeah. so let's dig in Excellent. So we've had the starters, now we're up for the main course. I decided not to go for dessert, but somebody wanted a dessert, so let's see if you can eat the pizza and the dessert. So far, it's been a nice experience. So the final course is here now, and what have we gone for? Bailey's cheesecake. Bailey's cheesecake. It's very nice. With a butterfly by the There we go. Bon appetit. Say no more. 